what's happening y'all so in this video we're going to be working on brakes on overkill uh, the rear caliber seems to be frozen up on the one side of the caliber so you have four pucks in a caliber well two of the pucks seem to be like they're seized they don't want to move in and out so uh, i've been kind of lacking in brakes it's still stopping okay but the pedal is just a little too soft and i'm not getting the full braking power i'm probably getting like 60 percent braking power i just want to fix this issue before we go to the event this weekend also guys if you're going to be in lee new hampshire and if you're off this coming weekend uh, we're going to be at lee speedway in lee new hampshire so go check that out if you're interested at monstertruckthrowdown.com go get your tickets if you want to catch overkill and myself there all right guys it's a little bit shadowy out here but a lot of people ask why do we run the brakes on the drive lines as you see right here here's the drive shaft here is the brake rotor the brake caliber and why we do not run the brakes on the wheels out where a normal brake rotor and caliber are is because the tires and wheels are so heavy you have to have a gigantic rotor basically and a giant caliber it's been done but you have to have everything so massive by our braking system being on the drive line it makes it a lot more efficient because we actually use the planetary to uh, help slow it down so the planetary helps make torque and it also helps slow down the truck by putting the brake right there on the drive line a lot more efficient so right here is the caliber it's not wanting to open and close also I just discovered these little bolts right here I have probably four or five of them loose on the rotor unbolt these we call these clamshells right here that go around the drive shaft in the universal take these rod ends off on the drive shaft loop slide these up these will slide up that way and then we'll unbolt these open these clamshells up and it'll expose the whole braking system we'll be able to get to it no problem Okay, so I got the clamshells apart. I took this clamshell off, that way it's just not there in your way, more exposed, and get right to the caliber. It's just two bolts to hold the caliber on, one and two, one down here as well. Then I'm gonna go around and tighten up these rotor bolts. So the rotor bolts to what we call the pinion hat. So this is the pinion hat right here. This is what the universal bolt to right here is the pinion hat, and then the pinion hat bolts to the rotor, or the rotor to the pinion hat. Okay, so I got the caliber off. Oh, oh pouring fluid everywhere here. Shadows are so bad. This one's rebuilt. Three different calibers. This one's rebuilt. We rebuilt that in January. So you look down in there, you can see the pucks. Two pucks on that side, two pucks on this side. And that was my issue with the other caliber is those pucks were seizing up on the one side. So hopefully this caliber does it. Some brake man pads right there. These are heavy duty brake pads. Usually guys, you can go through an entire season with one set of brake pads. I mean, from January to December, basically, if you don't ride the brakes too hard. So these are some bad boy pads. Slide right down in here like so. Just like that. Now I need the pins to put through here. So while they're messing with that, I'm gonna go around and tighten up these rotor bolts right here. Go around them all and make sure all they're all nice and tight. If you ever experienced a dirt bike sprocket on the rear wheel, if one sprocket bolt loosens, then they all start to loosen and it's the same principle. Now we have the caliber hanging here just by one bolt. Uh, instead of bolting it all the way up, we're gonna hit the brake pedal and bleed it a little bit to make sure that this caliber is working and is pushing from both sides of the caliber. Shishi. So yeah, so we're gonna jump up there, push the brake pedal and bleed it off a little bit. Then shh, we're filming. See, she's not doing it right. It's all right, we're gonna see if this thing works. Cross your fingers. Wait till you have your fancy machine. We don't have to hit the pedal. That's a snap on, right? Absolutely. So you know it was top ballot. So this is a line bleeder. Oh, so you don't have to constantly hold the pressure. Are you, it's, do you have the trigger held right now or no? Oh, no. So it just starts to go on its own? Yeah, once it gets a vacuum, it just keeps pumping. Oh, I've never seen one of these, so I'm learning. We're all learning here. It kind of looks like a paint gun. Yeah. Make sure we've got plenty in the reservoir so we're not um, filling the rest of the dry. 
So here you can see the fluid on the reservoir is a little low now, so we're going to put some in there. There we go. We're going to dump some brake fluid in. They not spill it everywhere. Oh, this is purple. Oh, a little bit more. And now we're full in the reservoir on the master cylinder. <laughs> yeah, start sucking back there. Look, we're getting pl plenty of clear fluid out. Go ahead and tighten up the bleeder and give her a try. Now he's climbing up in to go hit the brake pedal for us. Coming out? Yeah. Both sides? Slowly. Yeah, I can see Give her a push. Getting somewhere. We have brakes. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the bolts on, tighten her up, good to go. Get the clamshells back on. I went ahead and tightened up the rotor bolts. All these bolts are tight now. Get the clamshells tightened up, get the drive shaft cages back on the clamshells, and uh, it's finished. Okay, so everything is back together. The caliber is apparently working well. The cages are back on. Everything's back together nice and tight. So I figured since the truck is already tired up, I'm going to take it out here in the field, give it a little spin, see if the brake pedal still seems stiff. See what it was doing is it felt hard at first and then it would soften up. The pedal would start getting mushy. That means the back brake caliber wasn't engaging. So right now the pedal feels stiff, but we're going to go out there and run it around a lap or so and make sure that it's staying stiff and not getting soft again. I'm not going to get too buck wild out there. I don't want to break the truck here on the property. So let's just go take a little bit of a test run. So be sure to hit the like button guys, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Brakes are definitely working a lot better. Pedal is a lot stiffer, I am happy with that. And that grass was slippery. I was waiting to take out one of them concrete barricades right there and can a wheel and cut a tire right there in the yard. That'd have been sweet.